What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically fix um, this error message when you try and update your firmware. So if you're trying to update your firmware from 4.05 uh, to 4.55 or you're trying to update from 1.76 to 4.05 or 4.55, basically if you're trying to update any firmware, any firmware that's already jailbroken to you know a new firmware for a new jailbreak then you're most likely to run into this issue now the reason this is happening is it's because you have an update blocker installed now there's a little bit of confusion around this with my last video on 4.55 um, my 4.55 jailbreak setup tutorial um, I got this error as well as you can see and uh, I didn't know what was causing it because I didn't think that I had ever installed an update blocker before, at least not knowingly. Um, I'd never like deliberately installed a, an update blocker payload or added the folder into the into the hard drive, uh, into the update folder or anything like that. I hadn't done that. So I didn't think that was what was causing this error. So in my video, I went ahead and like basically reset the whole PS4 in order to fix it. Uh, which is completely overkill, completely unnecessary, because once I realized that it was just an update blocker, um, that um, I think PS4 Hen, the homebrew enabler, um, installs it automatically, which uh, I didn't realize. Uh, so I, I did actually have an update blocker installed when I thought I didn't. And um, so yeah, resetting the whole PS4 was completely overkill, so I cut that out of the video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you actually sort this error message out without having to like reset your whole system software or anything like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So first things first, uh, what you want to do is head to the internet browser. Okay, so once you're on the internet browser, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and load it up and select your hosting site, your WebKit host. Uh, if you're on 4.05, select 4.05 and load the FTP. If you're on um, 4.55, then go into 4.55 and start FTP. So you're on 4.55. Oh, you're all set. Okay, it says that. But is it actually working? Because this FTP payload seems to be pretty trippy. Sometimes it says it works, but it's not actually working. I guess we'll see. Okay, so let's load up FileZilla or whatever client you have, uh, FTP client, you want to type in your PS4's IP address into the host file or into the host box, uh, leave the username and password blank, put in 1337 as the port number and click connect. And there we go, we are connected on FTP. So what you want to do is head into the update folder. This is where your update blocker is. Now, you'll see these two folders. Uh, if you have an update blocker installed, if you don't have an update blocker installed, there will not be these two folders in here. So this is what's blocking the update because what it's trying to do, you notice that it always fails when it's trying to copy the update. That's because the update is called ps4update.pup and it's trying to copy that file into this location. But it can't because there's already a folder with the exact same name and it can't overwrite it because it's a folder, not a file. So it gets confused and then it, you know, it just can't write the file to this location and therefore that's why you get that, that SU error. So all you have to do is delete this folder and delete this folder. So you just have these other three files in here, whoops. So you just have these other three files and that's it. That's all you got to do, exit out of your FileZilla. So now all you have to do is go ahead and uh, try and reinstall your 4.55 update again or whatever firmware you were trying to install before and this time you shouldn't get the error if you do still get the error then try restarting your ps4 um, and then it should work uh, and if all else fails then you can of course like reinitialize the ps4 in safe mode or wipe the hard drive by reinitializing it I wouldn't recommend that though. Only do that if like you cannot get FT like connected on FTP for whatever reason and you don't care about losing your data, in which case then you can go into safe mode and reinitialize the PS4, which will basically like wipe everything that's on your hard drive, but that'll also wipe those two folders off 
so that you can install the update. But uh, this method is obviously easier and it prevents you from losing any data, like any of your games or anything like that. So yeah, that's how you do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found the information useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.